Hello again, fellow Beach Bum Traders. Thank you for watching our video on the options wheel strategy for beginners. This is part two in our series of videos on the options wheel strategy for beginners. In this video, we will share with you the options wheel strategy explained. We'll talk about what is the options wheel strategy, how to trade the wheel strategy, with specific examples on how to, you know, play the various options in the wheel strategy. Again, we'll show you very specific examples. And also, uh, there's a checklist in the referenced article in the description box below that you can use uh, to help you with your options wheel strategy trade. So again, stick around through the video and we will cover all of these topics on the options wheel strategy for beginners. And again, this is part two in our series on the options wheel strategy for beginners. So we hope that you find this helpful to you for your success in your trading career. So let's get started. Options wheel strategy explained the wheel strategy is a popular option strategy investors can use to generate income selling options and potentially owning stock. Learn how to trade the options wheel strategy. The options wheel strategy is an income producing strategy involving selling put options, potentially owning stock, and selling covered calls until the shares are called away or the position is closed. The wheel is an increasingly popular strategy for investors that want to generate income before and possibly during stock ownership. The option wheel's goal is to consistently take in credit via selling short put options. Selling short put options to enter a stock position and covered calls while owning the stock reduce the position's cost basis throughout its duration. If assigned shares of stock, covered calls are sold to generate additional income until the net cost basis is below the current stock price and the position can be closed for a profit. What is the options wheel strategy? The options wheel strategy consists of two main components. Selling a cash secured put option selling covered calls if assigned stock you can then go back to step 1 to restart the wheel on the same stock or a different stock if you wish. Selling the short put option receives a credit for the option contract's premium amount. Put options are typically sold out of the money below the stock's current price. Selling cash secured puts ensure enough capital is available to take assignment if needed. However, if you are not assigned, you can continue selling puts and collecting premium. If assigned, you should be able and willing to hold 100 shares per contract. Once assigned, you'll continue to own the shares and sell covered calls above the stock price, which is reduced by the premiums collected from selling puts and covered calls. The covered calls can be sold repeatedly until the net stock cost basis is below the current stock share price. Ideally, the stock price increases slightly, but the short call expires out of the money. This allows you to keep the entire premium and sell another call option for the next expiration, continuing to reduce the position's net cost basis with each trade. The shares can then be called away or sold for a net profit. The wheel strategy continues for as long as you want to hold the underlying stock, or the call option expires in the money and the shares are called away and a new short put may be sold to start the wheel over again. Learn more about the assignment process here. How to trade the wheel strategy It's important to understand that if you use the wheel strategy, you should only sell put options on stocks you want to hold at a price you're comfortable with owning the shares. If assigned shares of stock, you'll want the stock price to increase long term so you can realize the gains while also collecting recurring income from selling covered calls. Sell a put option You can sell the short put at any strike price. Many investors use the short put as an income generating, proxy limit order and will often sell options at a price they believe is a key technical support level. In this way, you essentially get paid to initiate a long equity position in the underlying security at a price you'd be happy to buy shares. If the underlying securities price is above the short put option strike price at expiration, the contract expires worthless, and you keep the premium received for selling the put. You can repeat the process for as long as you wish and adjust the strike price up or down as your bias or market conditions change. Rolling the short put can be an effective way to potentially delay assignment while collecting additional premium. The premium increases the profit if the stock's price recovers, or lower the net stock cost basis if assigned. If the stock is below the strike price at expiration, you will be assigned 100 shares per con. Tracked at the strike price. 
However, the position's cost basis is reduced by the net credit of any put option sold. For example, if you sell a put with a $100 strike price and collect $5 of premium, your cost basis is $95 if you're assigned stock. Short put payoff diagram because you will be assigned 100 shares per contract, your account must have available funds to purchase 100 shares. For example, if you sell a $100 strike put option, you must have at least $10,000 in your account. Sell a covered call after you've been assigned stock, you'll initiate a covered call. The short call option also brings in credit and generates income. You can think of the covered call as the monthly rent you collect for owning the stock. For example, if you own stock at $100, you could sell a covered call with a $105 strike price. If you collect $5 for selling the call, you've reduced the position's cost basis to $95, plus any premium received from selling put options. Covered call payoff diagram If the stock price is above the call option strike price at expiration, the shares will automatically be sold at the strike price, and any further gains are not realized. Therefore, covered calls are typically sold at or above a predetermined profit target you would be happy to sell the shares. For example, if the stock is $110 at expiration, you're required to sell shares at the call option's $105 strike price. You'll still keep the premium collected for selling the option, but you would forfeit any price appreciation above the strike price. Like short puts, you can also roll a call option to potentially bring in more premium, extend the trade, and sell a higher strike price. Again, the premium collected from selling options continues to lower the position's overall cost basis. The closer the short call strike price is to the current stock price, the more money you will collect, but there's a higher probability the option will expire in the money, you can use delta to determine probabilities. Also, options contracts with longer expiration dates have higher premiums but, again, a higher probability the option will expire in the money. These are factors you will need to consider when selecting a call option. Download a free copy of Mastering Covered Calls for in-depth research. Wheel strategy example Let's assume a stock is trading at $67. You've determined you would be willing to own at least 100 shares at $65. You can sell a cash-secured put with a $65 strike price. The longer dated the contract's expiration, the more money you'll collect because the option will have more extrinsic value. If the stock is above the strike price at expiration, you can repeat the process for a later expiration date. If the stock trades down to $65 or lower, you may be assigned shares at $65. The premium collected on any put options reduces your cost basis. Once you own the stock, you could then sell a call option with a $68 strike price, further reducing your cost basis. If the stock is not called away because the stock does not trade up to the call option strike, the call selling is repeated the next month. If the stock is above the call option strike price, you must sell shares at $68, regardless of the underlying's price. Option wheel strategy example important considerations remember, the wheel option is ideal for a stock you want to own. So you have a bullish bias in the short, medium, or long term, up to you to decide the time frame. Selling a put option to initiate stock ownership lets you collect money while waiting for assignment. Of course, there is always the possibility that the stock won't trigger assignment, and you'll never own the stock. However, you'll still keep the premium collected for selling the put. Capital allocation requirements can be high for the wheel strategy, so make sure it fits into your overall portfolio of strategies. Remember, you can use put credit spreads to Cree. Tay a synthetic wheel strategy. While selling calls reduces the position's cost basis, they limit its upside profit potential. Consider your long-term bias for the stock. The wheel strategy can go on for weeks, months, or years depending on the stock's price movement. Have a defined plan for position management, and consider a wheel strategy checklist before initiating a position. The wheel strategy The wheel strategy is one of the tools you need for different scenarios in the market. It provides a set of guidelines with steps where you get to make choices all the way through. You can make the strategy as simple as you want, or very complex. With the wheel strategy you can determine how much you want to be invested time-wise. You can sell weekly, monthly, or every two months. Example. Your first choice is to buy the stock or sell the out-of-the-money put. Start the wheel with selling the out-of-the-money put. That gives you money and a little bit of a cushion with the stock if it takes a bit of a downturn. Sell the put, it goes to expiration, and it gets put or expires. 
If it expires, sell the put again. It goes to expiration, expires worthless, sell the put again. This is the same thought process as a covered call in the sense that you have to like the stock, know the stock to some degree, and be okay with owning the shares. The steps, if you get stock put to you, don't freak out. Decide if you still want the stock. Call your broker and ask about your choices. Asterisk if you decide to keep the shares, the next thing you do is sell the call. Choices when selling the call. How long do you want to own the shares? If you want to get out quickly, sell the call right at the money, you will get the most money with the highest chance of it getting called away. If you want to make more money, go further out. The further out in time, the bigger the credit. If the call expires worthless, sell another call. Re-evaluate if you still want to own the shares, then sell the call again. If you get the shares called away by selling the covered call, you then go back and sell the put. This completes the wheel strategy. Overall, the wheel strategy forces you to buy low and sell high. The advanced choices. If your account has the ability to own another 100 shares, instead of selling just a call you can sell a strangle. This brackets the stock that you own. If you get called away those shares go away and you receive the premium of the put. If it gets put to you, then you own 200 shares, and you would sell 2 calls. Skewing the outcome. If you want to have it called away quickly, put the call at the money and sell the put that's further down, at the 10 delta. If it is already at a resistance point, you can skew it the other way so that the put is at the 40 delta and the call is at the 20 or 10 delta. The top-down approach. 1. Determine what the overall market is doing. Most growth stocks are going to follow the market. If the market is going down, the stock will go down also, and vice versa too. Look at earnings to decide on expiration and holding period. If you hold through earnings, go out further to expiration. Takeaways. Make sure that you get your position size correct. You have to have enough capital in your account to keep the lights on. Discipline and routine is key for being a successful trader, having a trading plan. We hope that you found the information helpful to you in part two in our series of videos on the options wheel strategy for beginners. Again, we hope that you like this information. If so, please smash the like button. Please share this with your fellow uh, traders and options traders. And again, uh, let us know in the comments below if you found this information helpful. If you have any questions regarding the options wheel strategy, uh, what did you think of this information? Do you use the options wheel strategy? Has it been helpful for success in your trading to you? Again, let us know in the comments below, in our free Discord, in our Facebook group, via social media, etc. And if you have any questions regarding the options wheel strategy, you can also uh, ask those questions in the comments, in our Facebook group, in Discord, or contact us directly via any of our social media links that you can find in the description box below, on our home page, on the about page, on our YouTube channel, etc. So again, we hope that you found all this information in part two helpful. Please hit the notify button and subscribe to our Beach Bum Trading YouTube channel to be notified when we release additional videos in this series on the options wheel strategy for beginners. And again, we hope this all helps you succeed in your trading career. Good luck and have a great trading week. If you have not already seen part one in our series of videos on the options wheel strategy for beginners, we would highly recommend that you view part one in this series on the options wheel strategy for beginners, as well as all the other videos in this series on the options wheel strategy for beginners. You can find links to part one uh, to be able to find other videos in this series on the options wheel strategy for beginners, etc., in the description box below. Also on our Beach Bum Trading YouTube channel. So again, we would highly recommend that you also view part one and the other videos in this series on the options wheel strategy for beginners. We hope this all helps. If you have not already seen all of our other options video in our options playlist on our Beach Bum Trading YouTube channel, we would highly recommend that you also view all the other videos in our options playlist. You can find our options playlist under the playlist tab on our Beach Bum Trading YouTube channel. And if you hit view full playlist, you'll find we have a number of additional videos uh, with detailed tips, techniques, etc. on how to trade options. So again, 
We would highly recommend you also view the other videos available in our options playlist on our Beach Bum Trading YouTube channel. We hope that all helps. You can also find a, a direct link to our options playlist in the description box below. And we again hope that all helps. The content of this video was produced by Beach Bum Trading. We hope you will choose to also join us in the Beach Bum Trading community and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit us at our homepage at beachbumtrading.com, the bum without the U. Similarly on Twitter, Beach Bum Trading, bum without the U. On Facebook and in our Beach Bum Trading Facebook group. Please follow us on Pinterest and on Instagram. All of the links to our social media sites will be included in the description box below. And we hope you will choose to subscribe to our Beach Bum Trading YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Thank you. We also cordially want to invite you to our new Beach Bum Trading Community Discord server. Where we can have discussions on all topics related to trading, success in trading, investing, etc. You can see uh, alerts when we make trades, changes to our watch list, etc. So again, please join us in the new Beach Bump Trading Community Discord server. You should be able to find a link in the description box below. You can also find a link in the social media category on our webpage, beachbumptrading.com, without the bum without the U and also in the link section on the about page of our YouTube channel, etc. So again, we look forward to seeing you in the Beach Bump Trading Community Discord server soon. Wave and say hello. Beach Bump Trading also now has a site on Patreon. If you are willing and able to help support our efforts to uh, produce all the content and help you achieve the financial freedom you want and deserve to be able to leave, live the beach bum lifestyle or any other kind of lifestyle you would like and you're willing and able to help support our efforts in these regards. Uh, we hope you'll choose to visit our Patreon page. Uh, you can get access to our new uh, Beach Bum Trading community discord server which is currently under construction but you will get access to the discord server by supporting us through patreon again this is all currently under construction but you can see we just have the default uh, levels membership levels but again each level allows support uh, allows access to our discord um, we're also posting our trade um, trade positions initially in our Discord, and again, we greatly appreciate uh, any support that you're willing and able to provide. So, thank you for your consideration. Another way that you can help support Beach Bum Trading in being able to produce frequent quality content for you, for free, on YouTube, etc., is in addition to subscribing to our Beach Bum Trading channel, hitting the like button on our videos and hitting the notify so you're alerted when we release further videos. You can also choose to support, show your support for Beach Bum Trading with a super thanks, which you can find below this video. If you hit the heart with the dollar sign, the super thanks, again, you can financially support Beach Bum Trading in whatever amount that you wish. And we greatly appreciate your support. And that will help us, again, be able to produce frequent quality content that we can provide for you and all your fellow Beach Bum traders around the world for free on YouTube. So, again, we greatly appreciate all of your support. And thank you very much. Thank you again for watching our video. We hope that you liked it. If so, please smash the like button, give us a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to our Beach Bum Trading YouTube channel.
please share this video with your fellow traders and friends and please give us your feedback and any recommendations for improvement in the comment section below and let us know what else we can do to help you in your trading career. Thank you again, good luck, and have a great trading day. If you like this video, we hope you will choose to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the box in the upper left hand corner. You can watch another video like this by clicking on the box in the lower right hand corner. And we have a whole playlist of videos like this that you can access via the box in the upper right hand corner. Our latest video is available in the box in the lower left hand corner. We hope you like this and have a great day.